Hi, I'm Mandel Brett. It's not too easy to make a, um, a tutorial. I, I see right now to pack, pack some stuff inside that is, uh, uh, yeah, good enough uh, that I can say I said everything, but uh, I tried. Incendia EX uh, starts always with a Sierpinski triangle IFS type of fractal. We leave that untouched, go to the editors then and edit the base shapes. There is no base shape right now. And we switch to the point mode that show uh, a white, black and white version of the final image. In the beginning, we need to uh, define a new base shape. It's always fine to take a sphere in the beginning. And now the first secret to know is you have to increase the depth to attach uh, the sphere to the Sierpinski. So if you say one, it happens already something to three, and then you can see the principle of that. Maybe five is even enough for that right now. Then you can uh, append, no, uh, make or define a new one, this is a circle in the beginning, you say then this shall be our donut and shall be bigger or, or just I think three times maybe in the iteration depth and the radius shall be bigger so that we can see it around the circle and um, the T radius shall be thinner maybe uh, then, then the experimenting starts the endless uh, possibilities. Uh, and, and then she'll, she'll have material one then. And in the controls, you can uh, uh, rotate it, for example, around the x axis only. So that it yeah, looks a bit like that. And scale it uniformly, for example, two stuff like that, but I think uh, you will know that that's no problem. The nice thing, the really nice thing is the real time update of that. You immediately see what you do. And this is uh, then the final image, uh, except for, for the shades and the colors. Uh, there are uh, further possibilities to uh, uh, for the colors, use gradient, enable neon, animation. Well, I didn't go to animation right now. I have no idea how that works, but um, can be so difficult. But right now we want to make fancy pictures. So the first um, uh, cruel thing about uh, Incendia is that you can say edit, for example, now the transformations. And if you switch off the edit, the preview appears. But you can't preview because in the background the base shape edit is not closed. So uh, I think not, not too much works if this is not closed again. So now if you say preview, it shows a preview of this first material. This second material is not defined right now. And uh, yeah, you have to know that. So in the transformations you can edit uh, the one, two, three transformations in this case. And for example, uh, you can, uh, yeah, let's take the third, third one for this. Go back to the point mode and now you can ro rotate that too or do whatever you want because uh, you, you see what happen what's uh, what happening. And I think there is no, uh, no undo for this. So you always have to... Uh, yeah, uh, be precise and no values for the rotation two. I don't know. Uh, it's like that maybe. With the left mouse, you can rotate the uh, object. With with the right mouse, you can move it. Mouse click. With the middle, you can make fine adjustments in the zoom and uh, course with this uh, wheel thing and then of course you can random the fractals or look for different 
uh, fractal types like this. And okay, this is not too much nice in this case. Uh, always some some scripts are uh, uh, running, and you can also uh, yeah. Uh, uh, write some scripts. I think therefore you have to go to the internet. But it, this is just for the basic start. New fractal until something nice happens, and there's no no back, no uh, no control Z. So if you lost something, it's lost forever. I think I fear. So this is uh, very nice. Right mouse click to. Uh, and then you can go to the camera, say shadow on is always nice, I think. And go to the perspective, uh, quite normal perspective view is then uh, negative 100, something like that. And then zoom it again and then you have uh, uh, yeah, a normal perspective view. Rotate it. Wow, that's fancy. So next thing to do is to define Material one, you see it's uh, the symbols for transparency or emptiness or blackness, ambient, black, diffuse, uh, uh, wow, oh, something fractal, okay, and now a preview, and that's what it's look, what it's, what it looks like, uh, maybe we should see something more of that. Yeah, but that's uh, yeah, that's easy then if you know the principle. So now you have to, or you can say render and uh, well, I don't know everything that there is to know because uh, I don't know exactly if you go to the environment and enable the volumetric volumetric fog. I found out that it sometimes is or or in the beginning it's uh, complete black. And uh, yeah, it doesn't have to be that way. So maybe we stop that again because uh, for this tutorial, it's better to have uh, uh, the the small resolution to render. If if I press render now, oops, render continue render, it's uh, faster then. So back to the render menu and. Something with the volumetric fog, I have to find out myself. You can uh, save it to background. Yeah, that's that's easy. Want the Fresnel equalization? Equalization just, I don't know. Ah, uh, yeah, it makes a white, wider image, brighter image in here. And yeah, while it renders, uh, you can already. Uh, do some adjustments also in the camera the light from the left side maybe no and uh, uh, not while it renders it does and yes that's that's it almost so if you stop um, it uh, the window uh, the, the fine uh, render picture disappears again no stop here and the preview comes again now you can uh, again change the materials for example i don't want this ambient but this red ambient okay okay that was not such a brilliant idea it was fine like it was <clears throat> and i don't want a background for this no background and if i say save png now uh, okay just one more thing uh alpha if you want to uh, do it later on in another program, let's uh, replace this EPNG -E for now. Then it starts with the original image and renders a fine resolution image. Of course, you can then change in the materials the specular. Sometimes it goes uh, the other direction than you expected. Uh, so first we have to preview or draw and preview again to uh, see ch the changes again I hope so 
sometimes the uh, the should, there should have something right now. Sometimes, the, yeah, now it's uh, clear. Oh, and now only for material uh, one. Uh, I wanted to work on material zero. That's something else. So when I uh, try to change the specular in here, material zero, nothing happens again. No, oh, now it's completely, yeah. If it's zero, it's very dark. If it's 12, it's fine. Shun, shun, shouldn't be too big. Well, something like that. And then the thing with the uh, volume, volumetric fog is uh, a fine thing to do. But um, uh, right now, I don't know exactly uh, what this Because if I save a PNG with that fog, it can be completely black right now and it and it is maybe because the color is black but it shouldn't be all the way black i don't quite understand if it's blue then preview again no draw preview yeah now the black background is blue and if i save my png now replace the test yeah, it's black again until I stop the volumetric truck fuck and then it immediately starts the old one and so we replace again just uh, the last thing to see I think if I have a background color it's uh, I want to open that in, uh, in paint.net right now to uh, show you that it has this transparency so you can duplicate that and make a, a fine background maybe the other way around like that and then you can work uh, with the rest I hope that helped you a bit uh, to see oh, how, how wonderful incendia can get. Thank you.